Hello friends, uh, welcome to lecture number 10. In this lecture, we are going to test Fermat's theorem and that testing method is called as primality testing. Uh, okay, so in primality testing, uh, we all know that Fermat's theorem is a raised to p minus 1 congruent to 1 mod p which I have taught you in lecture number 6. So if you have forgot, uh, go and watch it once again to uh, clear your fundas. Now the primality testing is for to check that whether the given number is actually prime or not. So if this sort of equation happens in solving of our example, our answer will always be equal to 1. Alright. So first of all, I would like to solve second example, then we will move to first one. Okay. So let us start solving second example. So we will be given in the form of any number base 2 all right so this we can write it as 2 raised to 29 minus 1 mod 29 all right now we can relate this with this equation so let us solve it 2 raised to 28 mod 20 9. So as we have been teaching you how to solve this in our previous two examples, let us again solve it 2 raised to 28 which gives us this divide by 29 minus 9 2 5 6 3 9 5 multiplied by 29 which is very close to 1 it proves our equation so we can say that 29 is prime number using primary primality testing and we can directly also watch and say that 29 is a prime number but what if a larger number is given to us so now let us move to this example number 1 it says that 561 base 2 so we can write it as 2 raised to 561 minus 1 mod 561 which will be equal to 2 raised to 560 mod 561 all right now as we solved this example again we will do it with the help of factorization itself and we will be solving this example so i am just giving you first step all the other steps you have to solve by yourself all right so 560 we would be dividing it with 28 so we would be getting 20 so we can write it as 2 raised to 20 sorry we can write it as 2 raised to 28 whole raised to 20 mod 561 using this factorization method if you solve it further you will again here get answer as 1 so according to primality testing it says that 561 is a prime number but actually 561 is not a prime number if you divide 561 with 3 you will be getting a perfect answer it means that 561 is a composite number it is not a prime but primality testing says that it is a prime number so here primality testing failed to prove Fermat's theorem so to overcome this and to provide a hundred percent accurate method we would uh, we would be learning miller rabin test miller rabin test is hundred percent accurate which will be differentiating exactly which numbers are composite numbers and which numbers are uh, prime numbers okay so that's it for this video miller rabin test we would be seeing in another lecture thank you